We just spent two weeks down in Arizona collecting some of the most delicious protein that the desert has to offer. A while ago, I shot a coos deer with Wade Zarlingo. He also shot a coos deer buck. Randy shot an antelope jackrabbit. He shot a javelina. Brian Call shot a coos deer. Ryan Lamper shot a coos deer. Wade Zarlingo and Jerry Pritchard both shot some Mern's quail. Jonathan O'Dell had some Sandhill crane that he had shot. We made braised antelope jackrabbit, braised javelina, smoked javelina ham, smoked coos deer roast, crane asada, which is Sandhill crane carne asada, in case there was any confusion, Mern's quail, grilled and fried, and uh, just a ton of different meat. So we ended up with a ton of leftovers on this trip. So I just threw all the meat in some Ziploc bags, froze it, and then took it home with my carry-on. Luckily, TSA didn't uh, ask me to identify it in my random Ziploc baggie full of frozen meat. But anyway, so what do you do with a bunch of random leftovers from Arizona? You make jambalaya. Just like most of my cooking videos, we don't do anything too fancy in this. White rice, saute some onions, throw some canned tomatoes in, I just chopped up the leftovers into little chunks, added a few more seasonings, some green chili sauce, cause why not? Probably would have added a few more ingredients, but this is just what I was able to find rummaging around in my house with uh, zero planning. And uh, bam, jambalaya. And of course the last step in this process is to uh, feed it to your wife. What's your honest opinion? The rice is a little underdone. Could benefit from peppers. But overall, you did a pretty good job. For being a boy. <laughs> that was the Arizona leftover jambalaya. Thanks for watching. We're gonna keep making more cooking videos. If you like them, let us know. Give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll, we're gonna keep making more random wild game cooking videos where I have no idea what I'm doing.